So hi everyone, this is Ubot, and welcome to the videos on the Mercedes Amanek Adaptive Suspension Systems. And uh, right in front of you is a Mercedes S400, in which we're going to do some procedures. So uh, during these videos, we'll provide a brief technology overview of both the Mercedes Amanek Suspension Systems and the Adaptive Damping Systems (ADS). We'll also be showing you a hands-on demo Amanek Suspensions in actions and the effect it has on the right side of a car as well as the uh, corresponding display message shows on the multifunction systems and wrapped up with my final thought so first of all what is air suspensions well, air suspension throws conventional spring right out the windows for a cylindrical rubber bladder filled with air. A compressor in the vehicle supplies the bladders and they're both managed by a control module. Each air spring is monitored by the car module for pressure and height and it adjusted accordingly to whatever the drivers or computer want to see. Now, the bellows or bags that acts as the springs is made from rubbers or elastomers strained with cords to provide durability along with the elasticity needed to give a compliant ride. And Corteco, the OEM air suspension suppliers to Mercedes-Benz, BMW and Volkswagen layer their reinforcing cords in parallel and in crossing pattern within the elastomer allowing the bags to have a sharp responsiveness and retain a torsional stability as intended by the OEM design. Now each bag is given a target air pressure rating by the control module. When the pressure is low, the compressor pumps up more air into the specified spring, raising the ride height and the stiffness. Excessive pressure in the spring means its air is diverted to a small reservoir or expelled to the atmosphere. Think of a blow-up valve for your suspensions. The top of the bellows is crimped to the upper suspension mount, while the bottom is fixed to a piston on a damper. The piston is mounted on the top of the damper and moves inside the bellows as the spring compresses. The air pressure inside the bellows and the shape of the pistons determine the spring stiffness. Now together, the air springs and the damper it sits on makes up an air strut. So the control algorithm for the dampening and level adjustments is filled in the automatic control unit. Automatic selections of the operating range or characteristic in the steam power diagram is calculated on the basic of the various driving signal. The configured vehicle level is held constant irrespective of the payload. Level sensor on each wheel measure the vehicle level. When loading the vehicle, the AMS compressor, while situated at the front passenger foot well plate, it pumps additional air into each of the spring bellows. Uh, now, when unloading the vehicle levels, is adapted by the venting air, and the automatic con compressor runs permanently during the dampening and level controls. Well, quit talking. I'm going to show you a procedures on how to test this automatic suspension using the sentries. And as always, we're going to hop on to our N51-3, which is our air control unit. Previously mentioned, it will control the damping valve, the pump, and the dissociations on the venting air on each of the suspensions. Now what you're seeing on the screen is the feedback from level sensor on the suspensions. And what it does is kind of an input information for the air control unit. Now the pump will have a pressure relief valve and a damping valve to control the amount of oil inside the suspensions, adjusting the height to match the driving conditions or driving mode. And the last thing that I want to mention are these Y36 elastics, which are the uh, level control valve. Besides all of that, the main thing that I want to introduce is the testing procedures. Like when the system is leaking on all of its suspensions, or two at the front, or two at the rear, we can perform the test to check each of the components which are on the system. Now for example, the A9 last one, we can test to see if the pump is giving enough pressures to the systems, because if it doesn't, uh, water could enter the systems and resulting the lack of performance on it. Now make sure that your follow it is a prerequisite saying the vehicle is unladen and it is parked on a flat surface. So first of all, 
uh, it will rise the front left suspensions and with this airman systems it will monitor through the height not through the pressure at this point it's releasing the uh, pressure after being lifted up to nearly 30 milli millimeters and as mentioned before the level sensor will feed back the height now in short the test will pump in and releasing and uh, for an amount of time it will see if the suspension can release all the pressures now based on the period of time and height it will de determine that our pump is working properly or not Now next up is the uh, right front suspensions. It's very easy to perform this and after testing through each of the suspensions, it will wrap up with a uh, conclusion. Now with this situation, uh, I think we're having a problem here because uh, the suspension can be lifted up to nearly 30 millimeters. But uh, somehow this one, it only goes up to uh, 20 millimeters. Later on, the test will tell us that there is something happening at this right front suspension. So you can see that it tells us that uh, the check was not okay and there are two possible causes of faults, including the uh, left rear suspension strut, shut off valve, and the air magnetic pressure is really valve. Now in the next step, I will confirm the problem by testing the pressure relief valve. The, pr the uh, procedure is very similar and we only need to wait. Uh, so now you see it's telling us that uh, there are leakage in uh, the compressor air systems or the air compressor is defective. Now, make, now in my opinion, uh, what could be entered the pressure relief valve and resulting lack of performance and uh, at this point, uh, I would suggest to replace the pump. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you learned a lot about the Mercedes air management systems and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we'll help you as much as we could. Thanks for watching and see you next time.